Good morning, music lover. How are you today? So, I want to get to know more about you. What was your first concert experience as an adult? Or it could be as a teenager. Basically, I want to hear your story. Leave it in the comments below. Here is my story about my very first concert experience. Um, of course, I had I went to concerts when I was a kid. I'm, I'm into like musicals and things like that that my parents took me to, which were very influential and made a big difference in my life. But I'm talking like the first concert that you chose to go to. So I was 16 years old, a sophomore in uh, high school, and I had a car. So I had just I had just turned 16, and I had a Subaru wagon which was originally my mom's car and then it got passed down to my brother my older brother dave and then i got the car the 87 subaru <laughs> i believe it was so whew, i got a lot of great memories in that car anyway um so i was a 16 year year old high school student and my brother was a huge influence on me in terms of music my older brother dave so, um, he was a, a big fan of this new band called Fish, and they were a band up in Vermont. We live here in Jamestown, New York, which is Western New York, but really not that far from Vermont, right? So there was this new band, Fish, that was making a big, like, um, a, getting a big underground following in the in a scene. I didn't even know what this scene was at the time, but my brother did. And so he had gone to a show up in Buffalo with one of his friends, Jeff Erickson. Um, well, I don't know if he went with Jeff, but he saw Jeff there. Anyway, that's another story. But Dave was a big fish, um, fish head. Um, and so he came home and was raving about them, and then he was showing me these CDs, right, of fish. And I was like, eh, I don't know what the deal is with these guys. They're, they're good, but whatever. So then, in a couple weeks, he goes, okay, we're going to see fish in Cleveland at the Agora Theater. So I'm still in high school, right? And this is like, I don't know, a Tuesday night? But I'm like, all right, fine. So I'm driving my Subaru <laughs> with my brother, and here's, the, here's another cool twist to the story. This whole thing was a brother's thing. So there, I, don't, I don't know if I should use their names. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, there's another set of brothers here in Jamestown who are, were about the same age, about 16, 18, and they went with us. So it was me and Dave and these two brothers, and we went to the Agora Theater on a Tuesday night. Yeah, I don't know how, how we got allowed to do that. All I know is we had to go to school the next day. So I'm sure there was some like bargaining with my parents on what if I could go to this thing. But we just went to the show and then came straight home. So anyway, we drove to Cleveland. First, you get the parking lot. And I was like, man, look at all these hippies. There's, there's definitely something going on here. But the Agora Theater is not that big. I think it might hold 1,200 people. And so this was 1992. Fish, total early on experimental stuff. And it, it just, obviously, it blew my mind. I've been, the Fish has been my favorite band ever since. They did the trampolines, Fish played the vacuum cleaner, um, it was, but it was intimate, and these guys were so unbelievably good at their, their show. So much music, so much, the lights, and you know, it was my first real concert, so I was blown away, completely sober, by the way. I was only 16 years old, and, and I was, you know, I, it was... Hey, it was a school night. Anyway, so Fish blew my mind. I've been a diehard Fish fan ever since. Trey Anastasio is my probably my favorite musician of all time. And they've been a huge influence on my life, on how to remain creative with your music, always being experimental, 
the power of what music can do in your life, all, the, all these things kind of stem back to those first moments at, of me becoming a real music fan, you know, like really. And it might have been the same year I started playing guitar. I got my first electric guitar. I'm sure that that, no, no, that was after because I was actually into Led Zeppelin first. So it was Led Zeppelin albums, and then it became me starting to learn the guitar. And then Dave took me to the Fish Show, and then I just went nuts for Fish for about, seriously, um, eight years. So all through high school and all through college, I was learning Fish songs and playing guitar, learning arrangements, and you know just being a fan of, of live music. And then I got introduced to all, all this other stuff. And since then, I learned they're in the jam band scene, which my band, Big Leg Emma, kind of became a part of. And anyway, and then a couple years ago, my band, Big Leg Emma, I got to play with Trey at, at um, Peach Fest. And that was like a highlight of my life when I got to see Trey backstage with Derek Trucks. And it was like this nice full circle moment. That's another story that I will tell in a different video. Anyway. Fish was my first concert, and it was the best. So tell me about your first concert in the comments below. I want to hear it. I want to know the details. How did this music affect you? How did it eventually bring you to me? Um, because I'm honored to be a part of your musical journey. Um, so tell me about your first show in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, and subscribe wherever you're seeing this video. If it's on Facebook or YouTube or um, like, comment, share, do all the engagement things. Talk to you later. Bye.